Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. This is Kevin Moon from God's Country. It's time for your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's weather. Now, here's my friend, Dr. Don. Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. Welcome to your Wednesday. You have made it halfway through the work week. Don't forget to head on down to beautiful Roanoke, Alabama, downtown district there. We've got Magic on Main opening up at 4 o'clock on Thursday afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon, they're open from 4 until 8 p.m. Thursday and Friday, and then uh, extended hours on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Regardless of where you are across East Alabama or West Georgia, it's well worth the drive to Roanoke to go ice skating. Enjoy a very unique atmosphere there in beautiful downtown Roanoke. Be sure and tell them Dr. Don's weather sent you over. And uh, have a great time at Magic on Main in downtown Roanoke. All right, let's talk about some weather for your Wednesday, January 19, 2022. Your Storm Prediction Center convective outlook for today. Maybe some thunder off to our west. We have a slight risk of severe weather there across the Tennessee-Louisiana border that's stretching up into extreme southern Arkansas. And then a marginal risk for severe thunderstorm from other portions of East Texas all the way back up into uh, northeast Mississippi, maybe extreme northwest Alabama, and then general scattered thunder across most of the state of Alabama from East Alabama all the way back, but that would not would not come for East Alabama until late in the day or sometime during the overnight this evening. We do not anticipate any severe weather today or tonight for that matter. Then looking at tomorrow, just some general scattered thunder, maybe south of the I-85 corridor across central and south Alabama, southwest Georgia and northwest Florida. And by the time we get out there to Friday, all of that moves on off down into central and southern Florida. All right, so let's talk about the possibility of some frozen precipitation across the southeastern United States. I have, uh, I've got three different uh, shots I want to show you here. Three different models at uh, all the same time. This is 7 a.m. Friday morning, and what you're looking at right there is, is the Euro the European model at 7 a.m. Friday morning. It is showing no precipitation across East Alabama or West Georgia. The only frozen precipitation anywhere in the Southeast would be right there along the Alabama, uh, I'm sorry, the Georgia, South Carolina line over there around Hart County. And that stretches back into uh, portions of South Carolina. Not a problem for Alabama or Georgia. All right, keep in mind, that's the Euro. Here comes the GFS. It is pretty much the same thing. Let me me put the Euro back on. You see that the Euro shows a little more precipitation, a little more rain taking place at that time across central and east Georgia, but really the placement of the frozen precipitation is about the same. So there's two models that are kind of in agreement with one another. Now let's go to the NAM. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh, it is showing something a little bit different. It is showing maybe a little scattered light freezing rain across East Alabama. Uh, Now that would be uh, Southern Randolph across most of Chambers, uh, maybe a little bit down there in Southern Tallapoosa. And then that would stretch all the way back down to Mobile. Now, is that possible? Yes, it's possible to have freezing rain in Mobile, but it's very, very rare. So the National Weather Service is kind of trying to take the middle of the road approach here because you have two of the more trusted models showing nothing. There's the first one. There's the second one. And then you have the NAM that's trying to push some frozen precipitation back into East Alabama and West Georgia. So they're taking the middle of the road here in the forecast, and I'll give you that in just a few moments. Uh, Understand, though, if this were to happen, odds are this would be very light and most likely would not cause any issues across East Alabama or West Georgia. That's 7 a.m. on Friday morning. So a couple, two or three days ago, we were showing you the possibility of a huge snowstorm across the southeast. The models have backed way off from that. That is not going to happen unless uh, there's a major change in the next day or two, and I don't see that coming. 
All right, so let's take a look at what we do know. <laughs> we know that it's going to go to about 59 degrees this afternoon in Roanoke. Ashland goes to 54. Lineville hits 53. Widawi will go to 59 and will hit 60 down there in Valley, Alabama. Don't forget to follow us on the YouTube. Just search for Dr. Don's weather page. Subscribe to our channel and then click that little bell so that when we go live for severe weather or winter weather, You'll be sure to get that push notification. So here's your forecast for today. We start the day maybe with a little filtered sunlight, but we go mostly cloudy by the time we get to noon. 59 will be your daytime high, 47 your overnight low, and that rain moves in this evening. A 90% chance of rain, showers, maybe even a clap of thunder from time to time, but nothing severe. On Thursday, an 80% chance of rain showers. 48 will be your daytime high. Now, here's where things start to get interesting. On Thursday night, we'll dip down to around freezing or maybe just below. Any lingering moisture uh, could be a problem. Now, what's going to happen? This front that's coming in tonight and tomorrow is going to stall out just to the south of East Alabama and West Georgia. So, if it, if it puts on the brakes a little sooner than expected, uh, then we, we may have to up that chance of precipitation tonight into Friday morning. If it goes a little further south than expected before it puts on the brakes, then we may have to lower this a little bit. But for now, we're holding on to a 20% chance of something during the overnight Thursday night. If, if we were to see anything frozen, it would be well after midnight Thursday night toward daybreak on Friday morning. And we'll give you a 40% chance of a mixture of rain, freezing rain, and maybe even a spit of snow from time to time on Friday. No accumulation is expected at this time. So if you do see frozen precipitation Friday, it's gonna be much like it was Sunday. It's gonna be a novelty, it's gonna be pretty to look at, and then it's gonna be gone. Those are the best kind, right? I know snow lovers are saying, nope, we wanna build a snowman. Well, you're not going to be able to this time, I don't think. 40 will be your high on Friday, down to 27 on Friday evening. Uh, and that 40 may be a little optimistic. We may not make it out of the upper 30s on Friday. We'll see. 20% chance of precipitation early Friday evening. And then we go back to mostly sunny skies for the weekend. 42 Saturday, 46 on Sunday, and we'll hit 50 by Monday. The models are added again out there around the 27th, maybe another threat or another flirt, I should say, with frozen precipitation for the area. All right, so let's take a look at your Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar this morning. And you see echo returns there on the radar. And that is precipitation in the upper levels of the atmosphere not making it to the ground in most locations. I have checked several observations uh, this morning, and I see zero reports of precipitation. Uh, the dew points are in the mid-30s uh, in Alabama this morning, so this stuff not making it to the ground. It's evaporating before it gets there. Uh, so, and I think it stays that way. Maybe until afternoon, we start to see a few showers making it to the ground up in northwest Alabama. And then sometime, most likely after 9 or 10 o'clock tonight, we could start to see some rain showers across central and east Alabama. And then after midnight, that'll move on over into west central Georgia as well. But no frozen precipitation this evening. No, nothing to worry about there. I hope that you guys will follow us on Twitter. Our handle over there on Twitter is at DSTREN1040. And uh, we do all of our weather on Twitter, just like we do on Facebook and YouTube. You can also head over to drdonwx.com. That's our home on the World Wide Web. While you're there, be sure you click on that donate button and support us if you can. And also download the Dr. Don Weather app and then click on that more button. Scroll down to God's Country and download the Mixler app so you can listen to God's Country anywhere in the whole wide world. When you're in East Alabama, it's 90.9 FM or 89.7 The Classic. You get my daily weather forecast over there on God's Country and The Classic. Well, folks, we finally got power back uh, yesterday afternoon. We went uh, right at 60 hours with no commercial power up here in the Northeast Georgia mountains. Uh, due to the winter storm that we had over the weekend. But uh, we're back to normal operations up here now. And 
Uh, we're going to kick back now and watch and see what this next round is going to do. All indications right now uh, are that this is not going to be a big deal for the Northeast Georgia mountains. We may pick up another inch or two of snow, uh, but that's okay. We get up into the upper 50s today, so um, that five to nine inch snowfall that we had on Sunday should be all gone by mid-afternoon this afternoon. So if we get another inch or two, uh, coming up on Friday into Friday night should not amount to much, uh, won't be a big deal. Not looking at much in the way of freezing rain up here, so I don't think we've got a major problem on the way. Now, we'll, again, just as we did the last time, we're going to have to watch between the I-20 and the I-85 corridor, though, uh, for the possibility of some icing there as we head into the day on Friday. We'll keep an eye on that for you folks who live over in Georgia. Hope you have a fantastic remainder of your, um, what is today, Wednesday? <laughs> I'm all confused on what day of the week it is. And if the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise, I will be back in here with you again tomorrow morning on Dr. Don's Weather. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye now.